Meanwhile, Autzen Stadium awaits the arrival of the Volunteers. This place might be about half the size of Dillon Stadium, but don't be fooled. It could be every bit as loud, maybe even a little louder these days, especially if the Ducks do what their fans expect them to do, which is crush the Big Orange. There's some excitement on Rocky Top. Butch Jones has energized them, and you could say that they really are playing with house money because Oregon is expected to win big. We could throw a million silly stats so far at the, about the Ducks offense, but what's important to know is they put 59 on a Virginia defense on the road that throttled the BYU offense that ran through Texas. As good as anybody, and this goes back to last year at Cincinnati, at takeaways. The problem is the Ducks don't self-destruct. They have not committed a turnover in their first couple games. Here's a taste of what it's been like on Rocky Top as Jones gets his team ready for the big challenge in Eugene tonight. Where else would you want to be? Nowhere but Rocky Top! We practice in what we call controlled chaos. And, you know, it's one thing to get lined up, but the things you can't simulate are really the speed of the plays and the players. Out of bounds! Give me the noise, give me the noise! 25! 24! 23! Let's go, Larry! Let's go! every imaginable sound that you can imagine we have piped through the loudspeakers. Oregon's offense presents many challenges. Not only are they fast, but they're also physical with a very good and talented offensive line. You don't like that word, do you, Bowles? You cringe when you hear physical. Are you going to be a quiet middle linebacker again today? Get off the ball, Reggie. Fast, fast. Call out the names. Tennessee football, don't walk. Oh, I hope that practice oh, gets you ready for the tempo. It's going to be unseasonably warm in Oregon, which is going to be a test for the depth of that defense at high tempo. Here's some of those silly stats we talked about. The quickness of the drives. They had nine scoring drives at Virginia. That's on the road against a pretty good defensive front. Eight of those nine drives under two minutes. They score fast. They make big plays. Often. The Anthony okay. Thomas really hasn't even been used as a receiver yet this year. He was their top receiver a year ago. So many wrinkles we haven't even seen from Halfords and Scott Frost yet. Yeah, I talked to Mark yesterday, and, and, and he said it all week, that he still thinks that they can be more consistent with this offense, and they can be more physical up front in the trenches. But Tennessee needs to be aware of these two guys in the backfield. Is that the look that Chip Kelly made infamous there in Eugene, the zone read, this time reading a linebacker. Look at the big playability of six. When he is in the backfield, you need to be aware. You give him just a little seam, and he's gone. And his what I think is so dangerous. You get so caught up in what the running back and the speed and the big playability, you know, there's the safeties, the linebackers locked in, and Mariota does a, such a good job of knowing when to pull it. And you can see his big playability. So it's either going to the outside or it's going up to the middle with a quarterback. Now you got it all figured out. We got them both yeah. zeroed in. We got the quarterback, we got the running back. And then, of course, they pay attention upstairs in the box. Scott Frost will see this. Then he goes play action, and there's Josh Huff. This is what Tennessee's got to be concerned about. They know you're always almost one man short. You overcommit to the run, leave yourself vulnerable to the pass with Mariota, or do you keep yourself back, try to keep everything in front, and then they can hit you with a big play in the running game. Tennessee's coming. Yeah. Their, their great times right. are ahead of them with Butch yeah. Jones. They're not ready not for tonight. What, they're <laughs> not, not tonight. ready for what they're going <laughs> to see. Tonight's tonight. not tonight. No. I agree no, with you 100%. Road. Right. The, the defensive coordinator, John Jansen, he doesn't have the athletes <laughs> right now, today, to play in space against Oregon's offense. And De'Anthony Thomas, obviously, he's one of the better, best players in the country. They have a true freshman, this guy named Thomas Tyner. It's his birthday weekend. Now, he had four touches for 51 yards and two touchdowns already. Last year in high school, this kid on his birthday weekend ran for 643 yards and 10 touchdowns. That's not bad. Wow. That, Happy birthday. So watch out for this kid, Thomas Tyner, tonight against Tennessee. He's the, they're, they're 10 touchdowns in one game on his birthday. That's pretty good. And if he keeps coming, yeah. that moves that out to the I outside. Know. So it's, he's a big kid. It's scary yeah. what they can do scary. offensively. Yep. But, but let's don't forget about it. Tennessee has got great team speed, and they're playing good defense. They're number one in forced turnovers in the country. Yeah. They keep it close, but Oregon plays at warp speed. Those guys, whew, They'll blow them out in the second half, but at halftime, it'll be close. Tennessee be in there. Okay. The Bear gave me a stat. It just blew me away. Tennessee has lost 16 straight to ranked teams. Not just that, by an average of 20 points, Bear. Is that true, Bear? It's true. And wow. 22 or 23.
It's pretty amazing how far that program's fallen. 16 straight. You know, bad news. Uh, average of 20 points. Last year, LC smoked you on the set against the Gators this week, right? That's week right. Week three. That's right. That's oh, yeah. Right, Keen? You, you, feeling, you yeah. feeling smoky? Yeah, okay. <laughs> no. no more. Do bad news I'm about that lack of success is it's about to get serious. Serious. Tennessee's yeah. schedule. Eugene, Oregon, the home of the number two ranked team in college football. The Mark Helfrich era is off to an outstanding start, and the Oregon Ducks are flying faster than ever, led by a dynamic duo on offense. The athlete is a special player. He's that type of player. He can go 60 yards in a, in a heartbeat, and um, he's really just fun to watch. I feel like I feed off Marcus. When I see him do big things, it makes me want to do big things. Today might bring a true test. The Tennessee Volunteers surging under new coach Butch Jones and looking for the upset in the Pacific Northwest. Hudson Stadium has been sold out for every home game since 1999. That's 91 straight. On this September day, it hosts an SEC Pac-12 clash as number two Oregon tries to stay perfect in 2013. Good afternoon, everybody. Mike Patrick, Ed Cunningham. It's great to have you with us. Janine Edwards will join us shortly. Two questions today. Will Tennessee give Oregon its first true test of the season? And have we seen enough of the Ducks to think they have a legitimate shot at their goal, which is to go 13-0? I think a lot of people around the SEC would say there's no way Tennessee could run with Oregon and play with them. I think they'd be wrong. This is a pretty good, pretty good group under Butch Jones, the first-year head coach. They play really hard on defense. And remember, last week against Virginia, Oregon looked sloppy at times. Virginia just didn't have the guys to play with them. But in that game, Oregon could have been beat if the team was better. I'm not saying they lose today, but I'm saying this is the first time we'll see a real test. So to answer your second question, we don't know how good Oregon is yet because I don't think they've been tested at all. Well, the real strength of Tennessee right now is easy to identify. It's the offensive line, and at least four of those five guys are said to have NFL futures. They got to lean on them. The old theory is old school, you go run the ball, and that's kind of what in the SEC they like to do. Don't mistake Tennessee for an old school offense. They will go fast and spread it out, but this group of big men has played a lot of ball together. They're ready to go in Odson Stadium. Kickoff just moments away. Tennessee coming up next.